And now, please join me in welcoming to Over Easy, Miss Kay Ballard and Arthur Siegel. People, thank you. You know, I cannot believe when he said 30 years, my heart just went, ah! I thought, where has the time all gone to? Haven't done half the things I want to. Oh, well. So uh, I will do a number for you now that reminds you of 30 years ago. This number, and my sweet Arthur, who's been with me all those years. Arthur, come here, let me hug your teeth before we start. Woo! Okay, this is a number <laughs> about a vaude uh, three vaudeville houses in New York City that had great stage shows, and what a wonderful era. I mean, you could see great people like Frank Sinatra and Red Skelton for a dollar and, uh, and no, see a movie, too. That. Less than that. 25 cents before 12. I would have written you a check not to say <laughs> that, Early Arthur. matinees they had. <laughs> okay, let's try this number for <laughs> okay. these sweet people, okay? Capital, the Strand. You got a feature film, a dandy show, a big name band. The movie often was a dud that really missed the mark. But after it was over, you sat there in the dark, and from a theater pit, you'd hear a band begin to play. The stage would start to rise and a terrific show was underway. It was delectable, delirious, and grand. At the Paramount, the capital, the Strand. Frank Sinatra, just a kid, oi, how the girls did scream. Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin working as a team. James upon the stage, his golden horn. What showmanship, what style. Flying home, I remember Lionel Hampton flying home. Listening to the wonderful beat of flying home. You still love the way he played it. And the songs they sang, oh, what songs they sang. Without you, baby. Walk without my arms about you, baby. Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. No peace I find. Just Georgia on my mind. I used to sing this song like this. I'll never smile again until I smile at you. I'll never laugh again. What good would it do? It seems to me, I've heard, heard that, that song before. before. It's, it's from, from an old familiar score. I know it well, that melody. I remember those days, folks, because I was there in swaddling clothes. Yes, I had blue swaddling clothes, pink swaddling clothes. I had a set of beiges, too. But my favorite set of swaddling clothes were black swaddling clothes <laughs> with little pearl buttons. You see, I was a dramatic kid, very Italian. What the hell are swaddling clothes? <laughs> they did eight, eight shows, shows a day, day and, and I, I can tell, tell you, you it was great. To bring your lunch along and stay till 10 and watch all late. late. It was delectable, delirious, and grand. Oh, I love you. Come on over, How I love you and how Arthur, nice it is you. to see you. 
Hey, that's, oh, uh, sweet people. That's just great. You and Arthur singing. Oh. Uh, so, oh, they bring back so many memories. They you, do, don't they? Yeah, you betcha. But we you know what's few. sad today, Frank, is that uh, you'll talk to kids and they'll say, ah, that was a long time ago. And I say, when? They say 1978. <laughs> well, I mean, their nostalgia goes back uh, yeah. 14 months or That's something. That's about it, yeah. Kids <laughs> are like that. But we have a lot of nostalgia, and we, we enjoy it, don't yes. we? Yes. We love it. Kay, I, you've been... Hmm? I was just thinking, you know, this is amazing to see you do this kind of thing, because I've always seen you do the news and report, you know, dramatic events as they happen. This has got to be a new experience for you, isn't it? I kind mean, in of. front of people? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Uh, but I enjoy this much more. You do? Yeah, sure. I get to meet people like you. I have a chance to laugh, to learn a lot. And you I don't have to be bearer of bad tidings all the time. <laughs> the news so is really horrendous. Is. Oh, is, yeah. But do you know something? Uh -huh. I was so thrilled when I saw that you were on this show. Thank you. Because I, well, you know I have always loved you. Well, always. we've been together many times on the Today Today's Show. show. And, and I remember one on the roof of the Ambassador East Hotel yes, in, in Chicago. Chicago. We yes. were there for a political convention. Kay was entertaining in Chicago. And I decided to go for a sun bath. And there was Kay on the roof taking a sun bath. Yes. And we had a marvelous conversation. Memories. She yes, yeah, she wouldn't keep her mouth shut either. She was singing <laughs> up there all the time. No, but too. not only that, I was much thinner. So then I was taking a sun bath. Now I'll only do it poolside if nobody's around. <laughs> of all the... Uh, the labels that could be pinned on you, actress, comedian, musician, singer, humanitarian. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank which you. One, I like that. Yeah, I, I like I read that the that. best. Someone said that. Yes, and, I do uh, care about Which one people. do you, you like the last one, but really of the, of the profession, which suits you best? Uh, well, I really like to be considered a, an entertainer. Really an entertainer. Well, uh, that you That takes all, in everything. It does, and you have been called the entertainer's entertainer. <laughs> which I think is quite a compliment. Thank you, know, you very much. It's not easy to entertain entertainers. Do you think it uh, becomes harder for a person to work steadily, like you do, as you have grown older? No. Well, it's harder because the people in charge are less apt to give you jobs. They really, there's something very sinister going on, and it's just amazing to me that people my age, and I am younger than Johnny Carson and Jerry Lewis and a lot of people, but... Uh, with women, they consider that older. I can't explain it to you. But I notice that people over 40 will not stick up and say, hey, wait a minute, gang. I don't know if the networks are giving people what they want or what they think they want. Because that's why I'm delighted with this show. Why do they always cater to people from 1 to 18 or 28 at the mm. most? I mean, there I are think... far many people over 40 than there are... Uh, Younger, aren't they? Oh, yes, sure. And it's increasing all the time, Kay. See, our older population is constantly on the rise. And, uh, gosh, right now, uh, it's one out of nine is over 65. And in another few years, say 20 years, it'll be one out of four Americans really? be over 65. I want to get into something with you before the old clock catches up with us. Yeah. You're in a business that's full of ups and downs. Oh, my, Almost my. Like you better a, be able to re accept rejection or don't go into show business to begin with. And at one point, you find, found it necessary to have psychoanalysis. Oh, yes. How'd that turn When out? I first started, because, uh, you know, that was way before women's lip, it was very difficult for a lady to do comedy without, yeah. be, uh, without being called unfeminine. And, and in my mind, <laughs> I had to adjust with a doctor saying, please help me. I'm Italian, and I'm very emotional, and I'm Catholic, and please help me because uh, I hated rejection. And it didn't cure my hate of rejection, but it enabled me to live with it. I think somewhere along the line you said uh, peace of mind yes. was something that you sought. And do you know something, that old, dumb cliché that life begins at 40 yeah. is true. That's why all these young people that are racing along, so I wish they'd relax, because when they're 40, it all comes together for some reason. Okay, I couldn't agree with you more. It does come together. But uh, I know you're going to keep right on working, and that's your future, and we on Over Easy and all of our audience wish you, you just mean we're through continue... Ha no, 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 you're... We're going to ask you to go over to the kitchen with our chef, Narcy David, and help him prepare some kind of a dish, delicious meal. I wouldn't doubt if it turns out to be Italian. Thank I'll you. Do, I'll do a tap dance while he cooks. Okay, Kay Ballard, ladies and gentlemen. Thank Thank you.
You may think that it takes a lot of time and fancy ingredients to add some continental gusto to your daily menu, but you can make an elegant yet inexpensive and nutritious zucchini frittata one-dish meal with little more than vegetables, eggs, and some Italian seasoning. And here to show us how are Gay Ballad and Chef Narcy David. Uh, listen, is that going to get the zucchini shredded quickly enough? That's no, 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 you're going to do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to watch. We're making zucchini frittata. I don't know if I got a chance to tell you that. I told you before that... You like uh, zucchini. I love zucchini, Fantastic. and it's one of the most nutritious vegetables that you can possibly eat. I read well, that Well, now, somewhere. that's good news. Yes. I love zucchini, so it's if that's... It's a natural diuretic. Go if ahead. If that's true, we're a cinch. Let's describe the ingredients we're using. About three tablespoons of onion, mm. a couple of medium-sized zucchini, mm. We're going to use three tablespoons of grated cheese, a half teaspoon of basil, a half teaspoon of oregano, just a pinch of salt and pepper, two teaspoons of flour, and three eggs. And all of this is going to come together and make a frittata, I promise you. In two pounds, you just discussing the menu. Go oh, ahead. no, listen, there's only one tablespoon of oil in this whole thing. You know, how about giving me a hand here? All Can right. I get you to do that? What do you want Why me to do? Why don't you chop up that onion? <laughs> And, I, <laughs> and I'm going to uh, do in the zucchini here. This sure goes flying all over the place. Uh, I want it minced finely, by the way. I, I don't oh, know if I warned you that. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Hey, Ma, look. Good. Two hands. <laughs> Listen, just uh, please, uh, right, keep them all on you, though. We don't okay. want to miss any of that. Great. <laughs> you know, this is a, uh, in Italy, yeah. This is used as an omelet. It's frittata is really nothing more than an omelet. And you could put a million different fillings inside it. Zucchini, asparagus, uh, bell peppers, artichokes, any of these things really work out very does it come nicely. From any particular region in Italy? Um, throughout most most of Italy. It's just that when, when you speak of an omelet in Italy, yeah. this is what you're talking about. And it comes out as a whole large round omelet. It's not um, folded in half like okay. a French omelet. And it's just become that kind of a tradition. There you are. There's onions. You Excellent. put it in with the cheese and you Great. mix it all. Pit. Well, no, if you please, you put it in the cheese, huh? Okay, okay. Wait a minute. Uh -oh. There's a big piece uh -oh. there. I can't have that. Okay. La. Oops. Uh, you know, the, the cameraman is going to get us for that. We're supposed Why? to keep it up oh, on keep top it on of the top? <laughs> okay. Okay. Half a teaspoon of uh, basil. Oh, I love this. Someone who has such instinct, they don't have to measure. Right, good. Yeah. Use your hands. You don't even bother with the teaspoons. Oh, a half no, a teaspoon. no, no, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> half a teaspoon, okay. Of oregano, a bit of salt and pepper. Very little. Not if you have high blood pressure. That's, yeah. that's why we use so little. But, you know, one <laughs> pinch, it's good. Okay. Absolutely. Two teaspoons of... Now, wait a minute. What you want to do is stir all that up nicely, and then we're going to fold two teaspoons of flour into it. Okay. You just sort of want to lightly coat the vegetables. Do with we the flour. fold that's, it in? No, no, that's beautiful. <laughs> it's the flour that gets folded. Oh, okay. Go <laughs> two on. teaspoons. You want me to put it in? Of course. One. Look two. at how he can figure. Two teaspoons. Okay. <laughs> well, okay please keep it in the bowl. Yes. Uh, maybe I better scramble I'm these under eggs pressure. while you're. <laughs> I'm under pressure. Okay, come on, Basu. But I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. Quick Gee, with that the eggs. That smells good, Arthur. I have to make this for you. And it's so simple too. That's the beauty of it. Okay. Now, uh, maybe if you could reach over and turn up the fire under that pan. I want it all the way hot, the left one. Left. All the way well, up. Well, it's on high no, already. Oh, higher, higher, higher. Higher? Yep, What's all higher the way up. than Keep high? Going. high? There you go. That's it. Okay. You got it. Okay, now this gets I can't stirred in. I believe how they suckered me into this. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> I just said all you gotta do is just cut a little bit of onion. Yes. Mix okay. a few ingredients. Okay, no, you do this now, so Fantastic. because we'll never get it on time. It. Oh, no, that's it's just, not mixed just up stir early. Well, stir it, stir it, stir Okay, around. there. Fantastic, that's all you need. Okay. Now, I've got a tablespoon of oil in that pan, yeah. and it's supposed to be nice and hot. Uh-huh. Why don't you pour that right in? Yeah. Let me hold this because it's tipped a little bit. Okay. Pour that in, it starts sizzling nicely. Yeah. Sort of smush it around to get it all nice and easy. Excellent, a that's it. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Now, we're going to let this brown for just a minute on top of the stove. And then we're going to And then we put it, it into a 350 oven. 350. Let's review the recipe, and then I've got one in the oven that you really are going to taste. Okay, come on. Okay, mince three tablespoons of onion. Mm hmm Shred coarsely two medium zucchini and three tablespoons of firm cheese. Mix well with a half teaspoon of basil, 
a half teaspoon of oregano, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and a pinch of salt. <laughs> Toss with two teaspoons of flour, and then mix in three eggs that you've sort of scrambled up together. Let it fry for just a minute on top of the stove and then bake at 350 for 25 minutes. God, that looks good. And here's what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. Numbers, now, numbers. If, according to all of the rules, this isn't gonna stick too badly, but don't be too shocked if it does. Mm -hmm. That cheese that we put in sometimes makes you know, it that, stick. Would that be good for breakfast? It, sure, why not? In Italy, this is usually eaten late in the evening for a light supper, but you could do it well, With three loaves of bread and the... How's that? <laughs> That's beautiful. That came out. Now, this is a uh, dinner for two, so we're going to divide it in half. Dinner for two? And they want to know why I've changed sizes. Ask you to shift this over to, dear to Frank. Frank's plate. Hello, and there's a fork for you oh, so yes. you could taste it. Okay. Now, to make this a complete dinner, I would eat a piece of bread. Oh, thank you, sir. And finish up with some fresh fruit for dessert. Now, that's mm. hot right out of the oven. That's Frank. right. You would eat a I... piece of bread. I would eat a piece <laughs> of bread and join a circus. Okay, he always does this to me. He gives me hot fruit Well, it's right got to be light oven. and fluffy. Okay. If we cooked it ahead of well, time, it looks it marvelous. just okay. wouldn't be right. Mm. Mm. Wind it up. Mm. <laughs> I love it. Wonderful. Thank like you. Kay, I like zucchini, okay? Thank you so very, very God much. God bless you. I love you all. Thank you. Thank you.